In the previous lesson, we learned how to perform a simple straight-in landing during VFR conditions. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to perform an overhead landing pattern. This should be your usual VFR landing pattern, and it will be very similar to a case one landing pattern you'll use to land on the boat. I currently have the lesson paused, as I want to first outline the airfield overhead pattern. Before flying the lesson, please make sure you are familiar with the HUD symbology as described in the manual. Press spacebar to continue. Ahead of you is a series of gates that you will fly through. These are designed to instruct you on where you should be during the pattern. You will start the pattern at 800 feet and 350 knots, just to the left of the runway. At the end of the runway, break to the left with a G of 1% of your airspeed, in this case, 3.5 G for 350 knots. As your speed decreases, relax the G to match the speed. At 180 degrees of turn, level out on the downwind leg and descend to 600 feet, and you should be below 250 knots. When below 250 knots, lower your landing gear and lower the flaps to fold down. Press spacebar to continue. Once on the downwind leg, establish yourself at 600 feet and slow the aircraft to on-speed angle of attack of 8.1 degrees. This can most easily be seen on the HUD by keeping the velocity indicator inside the E bracket. To the left of the HUD frame are the angle of attack indexer lights. When on speed, the center donut should be lit. Maintain on speed angle of attack during the downwind leg. Press spacebar to continue. As you roll out on the runway heading, fly to place the E bracket on the runway threshold and use throttle adjustments to control your glide path to be three degrees. Use pitch trim to keep the velocity vector centered in the E bracket. Press spacebar to continue. Prior to touchdown, do not flare the aircraft, but rather let it fly into the runway with no more than 750 feet per minute, as indicated above your altitude on the HUD. That is an overview of what we will be doing. Before we try this out though, let's first set up a couple of things in the cockpit. First, set the altimeter display on the HUD to display radar altitude by moving the altitude switch on the HUD control panel to the down RDR position. Using what you learned in the TACAN lesson, set the TACAN to 67X and a course of 70 degrees. This is the TACAN channel for Kobaletti Airfield and it will provide us useful information to line up our downwind and final approach legs of the pattern. Press spacebar when done and you are ready to unpause the lesson. We are now flying a heading of 64 degrees at 370 knots and 1,000 feet. Fly through the gates ahead, which will place us at 800 feet and offset to the right of the runway. We don't want to directly overfly the runway. Maintain an airspeed of 350 knots. Cage the velocity vector on the HUD by pressing the cage uncage button to the right of the throttle grip or pressing C. Approaching the end of the runway, we will continue to follow the gates for a 180 degree turn into the downwind leg. The turn rate will be based on a G that is 1% of our airspeed. In this case, 3.5 G for 350 knots. Now on the downwind leg, lower your landing gear and set the flaps to full once below 250 knots. Whilst doing this, descend and maintain 600 feet. While on the downwind, establish an on-speed AOA of 8.1 degrees by flying to maintain the velocity vector inside the E bracket on the HUD. Proper AOA is also indicated to the left of the HUD by the indexer lights. 
Keep a donut displayed on the center of the indexer. Once your left wing tip is a beam of the runway threshold, start a 30 degree bank to the left while maintaining on speed AOA. This is a bit tricky. Use the throttle to control your descent and stick. As your nose comes around to the runway heading, uncage the velocity vector on the HUD and fly to place the E bracket on the runway threshold where you wish to touch down. Use throttle input to adjust your glide path of three degrees. Use pitch trim to control your angle of attack 8.1 degrees. Do not flare the aircraft, but rather continue on the glide path and touch down at no more than 750 feet per minute. Use gentle rudder input to keep a line down the runway. Once below 75 knots, use the wheel brakes to bring the aircraft to a halt. Congratulations on landing the Hornet. With practice, this will become second nature. You can end this lesson now by pressing the escape key.